However, nice and wide open and even though it's gravel or dirt or whatever it is you can keep some decent speed on it which is nice I, I actually like overland trails where you can keep some decent speed there's actually a decent number of people out on the trail today we're a little bit crazy because we're planning to camp today and it's January this guy's in a Civic you could definitely bring a Civic out here, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna not gonna make fun of him for that. That is so beautiful. All right, this is camp for the night. I must admit it, it took a little bit longer to find it than we would have hoped for. Uh, we always try to find very much designated campsites and I wouldn't say that this one is one per se, but we, we specifically picked this because it has the least amount of vegetation out of any of the other relatively decent spots we found. So trying to be as conscious as we can about leaving no trace. It's probably a brisk 38, 39, 40 degrees or so. It's pretty, it's pretty warm by Utah standards at this time of year. And yeah, time to set up the tent and make dinner. What have we got tonight, babe? Oh, it's brats tonight. It's brats. Unfortunately, they didn't have the the cheddar filled brats at the store. That's wildly unfortunate, but a brat. We do love cheese. A brat is still a brat, though. Definitely looking forward to this. We actually brought our own cheese, so it's fine. So we'll be good there. And thoughts on the campsite? Gorgeous. Um, not sure if it's actually a campsite. Uh, it's campsite. <laughs> We're abiding by BLM rules and we're not destroying vegetation, so we're yes. gonna be we're gonna be just fine. Yeah, um, it's we had a beautiful sunset. We're ringed all around by mountains. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is. The tent is deployed. Very quick deployment time. The most time that you spend on the tent is putting it back away. Getting that cover back on is not the most fun thing in the world, but still better than a ground tent. Now just bear in mind that cast iron is gonna get very Yeah, hot. I'm seeing that. Like 
once it gets up to temperature, you just kind of have to lightly maintain it. What are you doing? Playing. That's all you're going to tell the viewers back home? Oh, I'm adjusting my settings for some astrophotography. Yes. Lakin is an excellent photographer. I don't think I've ever shown any of her photos on the videos before. It's kind of unfortunate. She's quite good. She's gotten good very quickly, too. He had a good teacher. Mad props to the video light, which turns out to be an amazing tool to bring camping with you. Oh, and thanks, Mom, because it was a birthday gift from my mom. Good morning. Sweetheart, Yep. did you get cold last night? That, that's a, that's a loaded question. I didn't get cold. I was cold. I got warm. Yep. Yeah, we both snuggled into the tent a little cold, especially our feet at first. We ended up getting warm pretty quickly. Now we're watching our three pieces of firewood burn up before we even enjoy it. <laughs> She's back at it again with the amazing camping meals. What do we got today? Uh, starting with bacon. We have eggs and cheese and tortillas, so we're gonna do breakfast burritos. Yep. All right, we've got the tent and all of our cooking equipment all packed away. I think we're gonna check camp one last time to make sure we didn't leave anything else being sure to leave no trace and uh, we're gonna get on our way pretty soon greatest driver right here. She drives, I get out and run alongside the vehicle and get footage. Nice view up here. Pretty cool. Look out past. I'm glad we didn't camp up here last night, however, because this is about a thousand feet in elevation higher up than where we camped last night. I think it would have been very cold and uh, possibly, you know, windy up here. Well, I'm, I mean, like, what what pets are buried here, though? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I mean, are they horses? Maybe. I'm gonna say they're horses. It's too small for it to be horses. Well, what if there's like two of them? Pet must be their last name, right? Oh, no, 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 no. No, so original wall erected in 1888. 
Horace Rockwell to shelter graves of her beloved dogs, Jenny Lynn, <laughs> Josephine Bonaparte, Wowza. Bishop, Toby Tyler, companions in her lonely child... <laughs> What is, what is he even talking about? This is a lonely old dispenser who buried her dogs here and built a wall for him. <laughs> but it also, there's also two men and a child here. <laughs> there's dogs here. They buried dogs here. <laughs> also, her dogs have very intense names. That's hilarious. You know who Jenny Lind was, right? Oh yeah, Jenny Lind, she was in... Uh... The Greatest Showman. Yeah. I hated that movie, but... You're uh, the only one. She She's a good actress, though, whoever, whatever her name is. You just think she's hot. No comment. <laughs> going to go see antelope antelope yeah they're a little bit distant but we're gonna see if we can get a little closer without spooking them What did you think of of that? That was so cool. Um, yeah, I don't think we've seen antelope that close before. We've seen them on no. the side of the road before, but never, never quite like that. That was, yeah, that was very special. Yeah, I mean, we were probably able to get with him what, uh, fifty yards. I'd I'd say I'm very bad yeah, at judging distances. I, I'd say about fifty yards. Yeah, they're definitely pretty acclimated to people. At least from a distance. Yeah. But yeah, we got really close. They were beautiful. Well, the pond that we presume horses drink out of, the wild mustangs that is, is frozen over, which would probably explain why they are not here. We're gonna look around a little bit more, right? Yeah. We're gonna do a little bit more searching. Yeah. But, uh, but we understood coming out here you know, that there was a possibility that they might not be easily accessible. Yeah. We're not gonna give up yet though. Well, we went off on a little side spur that yep. went up a steep hill, very steep hill in fact. We came up here to maybe get a better vantage point of which that was quite successful. But now I think we're gonna put up the drone for a minute and get some cool, cool footage. We got a little bit of technical terrain. Her back tire is going to go over that rock. Good. Now turn passenger a little bit, straighten out, come down straight. Yeah, turn, turn driver, straighten out. You're doing good. Keep coming straight. Keep coming straight. Very good. Very, very good. You did it. Good job, babe. She uh, had to avoid that big rock there. 
very proud right now. All in a day's work. What are we doing? We found a few of the wild horses. Um, it looks like two of them maybe? Two, maybe three. They're way out. So we're gonna walk out to them. Just when we were about to give up and go home for the day. We were, we were about to turn around. They do not seem to mind us being here at all. Not much. But we should mention that we're still keeping a respectful distance. Yes. Oh. Give each other lovin's. Oh. Oh, my they're going to sniff. Perfect. That is a real life sun bleach skeleton. Yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? That's pretty sweet. Very, very, very oh, nice. Oh shoot, it's a horse. Look at that. Jawbone. Yeah. It's massive. I was I was gonna suspect cow at first, but no, it's a horse. Yeah. Well, that's all she wrote, folks. We saw the horses, so we accomplished our mission. Had a good time. Do you have anything else to mention to the viewers before we close out? Not particularly, except um. I, I broke a rule. I didn't bring an extra pair of shoes because I thought these boots are so hardy. Like, I'm not gonna need another pair of shoes. And then we walked through glue, mud glue, the, to get to the horses, I, so. I should mention that she's very much just talking about some very soupy mud. She's not talking about glue in regards to horses. That's terrible. Well, I, I have to clarify because people I just, don't think anybody people make an association thing. with with glue with horses. So I wanted to clear that up. We anyway, <laughs> there's mud caked all over our shoes, um, so we're going back to back home like that. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, well, we'll rinse them off when we get home. And yeah, we need to vacuum out and clean out our floor mats in the car anyway. Yep. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Oh,